Hi everyone. So we've learned a lot about setbacks and what that means for us as individuals and what that means for us as a business. And those of you who saw my video last week realised that the COVID-19, the, the impacts that it's had on my business, the impacts that it's had on my family, um, we, we have really felt this, felt this pandemic like many of you. So it got me to thinking about setbacks and what that looks like for us and what we can do with that. And you know, um, look, like many of you, I can, I suppose, wallow in self-pity or I can do something about this. So I've decided to do something about this. And you know what keeps going over in my head during this COVID period is that, and I've put it on social media a number of times already, is as an early childhood sector, we have worked really, really hard to be recognised. So now is not the time to give up. We... Um, there's commercials on television congratulating us in the early childhood sector. You know, that's stuff that we've never seen before. We've never been held in this regard before. So although I believe and I know and I feel that there's so many setbacks facing our sector right now, I know that firstly, I don't know whether you've seen that Kate Blanchett capture, capture on Foxtel right now, you never know the strength of women, and we are predominantly women in this sector, but you never know the strength of women until you put them in hot water. So I think we are a little bit like phoenixes and we are rising out of the ashes, so to speak. I think this is, um, I think this is a really good opportunity for us. This is a really good opportunity for us to sit back and have a look at our business. I know that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at my business plan. I'm looking at my business model. I'm looking at you know, what I want long term, I'm looking at how I can protect myself from this again, because people like me, consultants or advisors, um, you know, we're probably the first sector to go, I would imagine, in, in some places. So, you know, people look to us for support, but they can't afford us either. So that's why I'm doing so many free videos, just to keep people moving and keep you thinking and keep you going ahead, because we really are coming out of this. And the, the, the roadmap is there. We are coming out of this soon, so things should really stop and uh, things should really start changing again now. Um, I'm going to do some marketing uh, information because services, I've seen some educators actually advertising their vacancies and I've put that question out there why that would be happening right now. Um, and the feedback was, you know, it's a sound business decision and those sorts of things. So look, I could, would really challenge that from a business decision. I would think if you are, at, you, you can't cater to that market. So why are you advertising to that market right now? So what I would advise you to do, so I'm going to do some marketing strategies for you so that you're not just advertising yourself as a vacancy, you're advertising yourself as a, as a value add, you're advertising yourself as a service, you're advertising yourself as accessible. So when the time comes, you've built your reputation, you've built your branding. And that's probably more long term than just advertising for a vacancy. Because if a, if a family sees a vacancy today and they don't need it, they're just going to off they go. If they, if they need a vacancy in, I don't know, six months time or whatever, and then they see a vacancy, they'll take that one that's advertised. So either you advertise your vacancies every day, which is wasted money, or you put a marketing strategy in place, which is around your branding, which is around your philosophy, which is around all those sorts of things. So that's where your longevity comes into it. So if you've got, if you impact me as a, as a, as a family right now through your advertising, then you're not just saying that, yes, I have a vacancy there. You're saying that this is the service I can offer. So if you put that in my head as a family, if I don't need you now, but I need you in six months time, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna ring you and I'm gonna say, Hello FDC service, hello FDC educator, can you please help me? I've heard good things about you, da 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 da. So it, it gives you that longevity. So I'm gonna put some things together for you for that. So hopefully, you know, while we're in our downtime and doing all sorts of things, I'm working on my own marketing strategy as we go. So, you know, this is just part of business. So I want, um, I want people to be prepared for the roadmap out. So I'm trying to prepare myself for the roadmap out. Um, so anyway, going back to where we started, setbacks. Look, I suppose they can make or break you. And um, I had a conversation with my girlfriend yesterday and I said the COVID will make or break many of us. I refuse for me to be one of them. So I am picking myself up and I am moving forward and I am doing the best that I can. 
Um, make sure that you do jump onto YouTube and watch my um, newsletters and those sorts of things. I give you loads of free information um, and I give free information, you know, because that's part of who I am and what I do as a business. Um, so make sure you have a look at that. But yes, our setbacks have been setbacks, but they have given us an opportunity to improve. They've given us an opportunity to reflect. They have given us a golden opportunity, particularly because now education and care services, childcare is held in such high regard that it never has been before. So it's time to stand up people. It's time to be what we wanted to be all these years. I wish that you know, as a practitioner, I'm no longer a practitioner in, in working with children. I wish this opportunity had come to me um, when I was working directly with children. You know, parents would say things like, my, you're tired. You just played all day. Like, the respect that we have now moving out of this pandemic is something that we have always struggled for. So I want to try and use that as our capture. So my biggest thing in coming out of these setbacks is respect and I think we have gained that so now we as business owners in family daycare as service providers we now need to capitalize on this for our businesses we now need to use this because parents will be far more informed than what they were before we need this to drive our quality we need this to drive our business this is a golden opportunity for us so as you can see I'm back on board, I'm awake, I'm over my trauma of, of whatever it was that, that, that set in with the pandemic like so many of us. So um, keep watching, I'm definitely on board. So I'm going to put some marketing stuff. So have a little think about that. I might put, I'll try and get like a little download for you so you can look at your strategy and what that marketing strategy means for you and we'll set some goals and how you can look at that, those sorts of things. So we'll get down to the business side of family daycare. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, we'll talk again soon. See ya. Bye.